Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Baco. Welcome to the seed review. Today we're going to be reviewing this seed, which is also going to be in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it and don't have to type it all in. Okay, so I'm also going to be providing some coordinates in the description and you should check them out as well. So definitely go ahead down there before asking any questions in the comments down below because I've got my experience with that and people not looking in the description. So check it out. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. So I spawned somewhere in this area and this hole was natural. Was not natural, that's what I meant to say. And let's uh, kill ourselves to find out where we spawn. You won't spawn at my exact point, but you will spawn somewhere in a 20 by 20 area of this point. So you should be at some of these coordinates. X, Y, Z, 19, and I guess this level is like 70, 63, and 230, around that number. And what you will see if you let the world load in a bit is forest and savanna. And forest is not really interesting, so we'll go into savanna. Um, there are not too many features in this seed, although there are some pretty cool areas, so I would recommend this seed mainly for builders and mainly uh, maybe explorers and uh, not really for those types of guys who really like massive landscapes and stuff. This is like a beautiful seed and not like a mega seed. So what you can see right here are rabbit babies. That's one reason to come here, but also a fairly decent sized village. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve houses, and quite a couple of farms and also villagers. And this house right down there is kind of buried. Let's check out what it has inside. Nothing. Only dirt and one villager. Let's check out his traits. Okay, 18 wheat, 16 potatoes, 90 carrots and bread. All unlocked already for you to just steal their stuff from their farms and then trade it in for some sweet emeralds to get your first real stuff in this world. Don't get wood, get emeralds. That's what you want to do. Okay, so the next thing is relatively close by if you can say so so there are the coordinates for this village and if we go to let's see which one was it i think it's this one yeah this is another village which is also fairly close by as i said and um it was generated in this desert so the well I think that's the middle of the desert and that decides whether it's a desert village or a normal village in quotation marks, <laughs> quote unquote, that's what I want to say and um, if that's in a desert, the whole village is going to be deserty and we've got a pretty small village but you could also consider this normal size by comparing Minecraft villagers. But you have a nice um, blacksmith in here with some pretty good stuff. Three diamonds, iron sword, iron pickaxe, iron boots and three gold. Not too bad just for this quick travel. And then you can also um, farm away some stuff, get some pumpkins and you're good to go. So the third location that I want to show you is at these coordinates. Was it those? No, I think it's those. Yeah, here we go. And this spawns you right in front of a desert temple. We got a nice mountain back there, which I haven't checked out. And uh, yeah, this is not buried. This is kind of one of the perfect desert pyramids, kind of, maybe, because it's not like full of sand or anything. And if we head on here, there's not too great loot apart from the TNT down here. Don't step on that pressure plate or else it won't be that good, you'll die, and that won't be good with the stuff that you've got in here. Not too great, but also not too bad. Some iron, some gold, a saddle, which you can use for horses, that can also be found in the savanna. I've seen them, but I don't remember where they are. Maybe we'll come across them. And if you don't want to take the TNT, just blow the place up. <laughs> okay. Um. We can just fly around a little bit more and then I think that'll be it about this seed really because yeah it's just a nice seed. I like the scenery, just those uh, flat landscapes and that's also the reason why I like this biome so much because it kind of reminds me of a savanna in real life and that's 
kind of the closest biome that they could make to real life. Okay, so I think there's nothing else to show here. Hmm. No, the savanna is there, but it's fairly big if you go into another direction. Let's see what this is. Oh, wait, is that another village or were we there before? I don't know. This looks like another village, maybe. What coordinates are we at? Yeah, this is another <laughs> village. Okay, so check these coordinates. XYZ 666 70 and 290 and you should be there. Sadly, no blacksmith, but still pretty cool. Okay, you can see what flying around just gets you. Also a nice little ravine right here where you might get some diorite, some granite and maybe also some andesite somewhere. So if I flew around a little bit more, I would also come across some more stuff. Wait, is that yet another one? <laughs> Mm, no, probably, maybe? Yeah, that's another one. Okay, I'm gonna leave the exploration to you, up to you. You can tell some more comments, uh, you can tell some more coordinates in the comments down below. Or maybe this is the first one. Yeah, this looks like the first one. Anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> okay, so comment on more cool coordinates that other people can check out. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way and share it with your friends so they can also see this awesome, awesome Minecraft 1.8 seat. Okay, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.